headed to Union Station and I'm super hungry so I just want to quickly go into Tim Hortons, grab a quick breakfast before I head to the office. Oh my god, it's so noisy. Toronto and construction are like 5 and 6. Okay, I have my breakfast. I'll make tea in the office. Now I'm gonna head there. So comfortable. And no one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. They still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have felt from the sky And I Lucky I met you. It's not logical. The way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm. So a quick check in. Um, day is going great. Busier than I thought it would be, which is like a horrible day to try and even vlog. And yeah, but it is what it is. Just came to like a quieter area. I have something I need to work on and submit within the next hour. So I just needed some like quiet, uninterrupted time. So gonna work on that now. I feel so lucky I met you. I just got home and made myself a cup of tea. It's kind of chilly outside and I was wearing like a really short dress today. It's weird because we are still very much in August, but it feels like we are in September already. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm back home and i want to keep working for probably like the next maybe 30 or 45 minutes i just have a couple of things that i need to get done when i'm in the office i typically like focusing on collaborating socializing hanging out with my colleagues chit chatting catching up with people just doing things that i normally wouldn't be able to do if i was working from home then when i'm home i can do everything else that i need to do so i am just gonna finish up like something that i need to work on and submit tomorrow morning and i want to work on that so it's tomorrow morning i don't have to like stress about it and it's easier but anyway i wanted to talk about something i posted a video on how i was able to get my first job in canada within two weeks of my arrival and i got a couple of people messaging me on instagram because in that video i spoke about how i started off in recruitment working for an agency because that's what i used to do prior to coming to canada so i got a couple of people ask me how i was able to pivot from like agency recruitment to now being in an hr function role in an actual organization or company versus being in an agency i actually have a detailed video on my channel that i speak about how i got into hr but an overview is that I started off in an agency doing recruitment and that's where I got like my base or fundamental North American recruiting knowledge and experience. After that, I actually joined another agency. From that agency, I then joined the current organization I'm in now. Usually if you have agency experience as a recruiter and you're now applying to an organization, you have leverage because if you're in an agency, you are recruiting for like multiple companies it's high volume you're gonna get a lot of experience with sourcing with business development with just like working under pressure so when you now move over to an organization you have an edge because you're not just focusing on like one brand and maybe like very few portfolios i know for the most part like most recruiters that i know that are on the corporate side they probably handle like maybe two, three or four portfolios. A company would have like multiple recruiters that handle different portfolios. Whereas if you're on the agency side, you're handling a lot of different things. So it gives you and builds you up that experience. So yeah, working in the agency side gave me experience. It built me up. 
and then that's how i was now contacted by this comp company that i'm working in now on linkedin to see if i wanted to join them i interviewed i loved them right from the interview stage i got in as a recruiter they're recruiting for a bit and then it was in that recruiting role that i guess like maybe just like a light bulb went on and i realized that i did not really want to focus solely on recruiting i had to go through a process of like you know really asking myself okay what do i want to do just looking at my transferable skills and seeing what can i actually do without having to leave what i'm doing and starting from zero started like upskilling myself more in that area and it wasn't so difficult for me i think for the most part it kind of came natural because i do have like a creative side i am a content creator after all i'm here on youtube i'm on instagram so i decided to like close one eye on my hr lens and then i like magnified and focused on that creative side and said i have this creative side how can i take this creative experience i have and bring it to my current role and you know one thing led to the next and ultimately i'm now in this role where i handle the creative side of hr related tasks and so far so good i've been loving it i'm going to continue with work because i want to be done maximum 45 minutes i need to go to a friend's house i told her i would be coming over if you live in canada you probably know i don't know if everybody does this but i do know a handful of people that do it where you buy tomatoes peppers in bulk and then you preserve them over winter so that you're not paying exorbitant prices for tomatoes and peppers during winter because they do get ridiculously expensive and i actually suspect that this winter tomatoes peppers are going to be even more expensive because the price of everything has gone up in canada i know the way of doing it where you preserve them through the freezer and i don't want to have two freezers running throughout winter and increase my electricity bill unnecessarily we actually don't even use our freezer it's just in the basement turned off because electricity can get pricey so she has a way of doing it without having to like freeze it so that's what i want to go and learn enough rambling let me continue working if i could tell you i don't think you'd believe how long i felt this way